Now that we've entered into the high school football season, all eyes are on Friday night. While Austin High has a brand new stadium to play in, Decatur is finally getting to take full ownership of the one they've been sharing. We 31's Mary Lee Melendez went to the home of the Red Raiders and learned about the new touches they've added to the gridiron. Decatur and Austin High have shared a football field since the 1960s, and players I spoke with today told me that they've never been able to paint their school emblem on their field until now. It was always a uh, little bragging right thing, whoever won, whose stadium it is, but <laughs> it, it's, we like that we have our own now, for sure. Austin High's move to their own stadium came with more than just bragging rights for the Red Raiders. Senior quarterback Trenton Duper tells me they've been able to add some personal touches that weren't an option before. I mean, we got home of the Decatur Red Raiders. That's cool to look at. Ogle Stadium, red and black. Uh, we got the D in the middle of the field for sure, the best thing. They also added the seniors' pictures to the wall of the field house, and they get to keep them up all season long. Touches coach Adcock says has created more of a home environment. Kind of takes some of the pressure off and allows you to brand it yourself. And, and that's nice and exciting for the kids and the fans to finally say, hey, this, this is ours. We can do what we want to. An environment that led them to a win in their first game of the season and something Duper tells me he won't forget. It was surreal. I mean, uh, there was, we had a great crowd that Thursday. Uh, all the red and black, no orange or black, so it was really cool. And while the rivalry will be reignited this Friday on Austin's playing field, Adcock says he thinks the stakes could now be even higher. It, it may add to the rivalry. It really may do that. And that was Way 31's Mary Lee Melendez reporting that rivalry, rivalry game between Decatur and Austin at Austin's brand new stadium is Friday at 7 p.m. Way 31 will be there to cover it and will bring you live coverage and highlights.